So finally, we have all of the Predacons from Beast Wars Season 1. It took a long time, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's good to see all of it here, finally, at last. Anyway, so what we're going to do is uh, unbox and take a look at every single one of them. Starting with Therosaur, uh, then Tarantulas, Black Arachnia, Scorponok, Waspinator, Inferno, and yours, Megatron. Yeah, so I guess the first thing is that it's interesting to see that we have five deluxes, a Voyager, and a Leader, and the Voyager is the end. So, <laughs> you know, the scaling in this universe is just doesn't matter uh but anyways oh also the other thing too the box sizes so we have kingdom here and they shrunk it down remove the plastic for legacy and you know i guess that's better for the environment but really it's to reduce cost even though prices have continued to go up uh let's get started That was harder than it should have been, but anyways, uh, I guess it's a. Po oh man, that's kind of loose. Whoa, what? And it's like, oh wait a minute, that's like, what is this part of? Yeah, so the first thing to do is attach the stuff, uh, those couple spiky things on his elbow. Yeah, these guys are pretty tiny. So, so they go here. Yeah, I guess they've noticed that, you know, they come come off easily. And obviously, since it's an open box, he'd lose them. So so they, they, they have to do that. All right, so there he is. It looks pretty good. Actually, you know what? Let's give him his gun here. Yeah. Oh, and let's just get our standard for a size comparison. Um, G1 Optimus Prime. So, yeah, obviously quite a bit smaller than him. Unless you include he's some parts of his beast form. But, yeah. Yeah, so that's his face. I mean, it's a nice sculpt. I love the, um, the green on his chest. And yeah, so is it purple or violet? But yeah, it, it, there's a you know splash of it uh, here and there. And then on the back you have um, a lot of kibble. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, his his giant um, pterodactyl head in the back there, and the tail. Obviously the wing kind of folds a little bit. Oh, the hands here just kind of there. Um, but yeah, let's do some articulation here. So this thing is a hinge. It rotates fully. Uh, elbow is more than ninety degrees. Uh, the f uh, hands can go, or the wrist can sw swing all the way, like ninety degrees as well. For the head, oh man, that's on a ball joint, or is it a peg? But it kind of looks up. Oh, that's for transformation. So, and this thing is loose. Well, I don't know what we can do with that. Probably put something in there. So, yeah. Um, there's a waist swivel here, and uh, the legs too. Uh, goes all the way to the side there, to the front as well, to the back a little bit. It's hindered by the tail, um, the knee, ooh, almost 180. Uh, the feet is in a ball joint, so you can go side to side, up and down. Yeah, so overall pretty good. Um, articulation here so can't complain about that and yeah so 
you know, I'm not going to transform them yet. I want to line them up, all of the particles. So let's go to the next one. Oh, man, if you're a arachnophobe, it's not, it's not going to be good. <laughs> but yeah, I got to say, he looks pretty awesome. I mean, the color it just pops the the purple the lime green the yellow wish feet the silver weapon here the old oh man those the green on his hips <laughs> and that face come on man dang that looks so good and on the back you got his giant abdomen over there um and then just the legs, you know, just hanging out. But that's accurate. But yeah, and just look at the size comparison here. It is that much shorter than the uh, Prime himself. But that's fine. And yeah, it looks pretty good. And let's check out the articulation here. The head is on a swivel. Does it go up and down? No, not really. Ooh. So for uh, the shoulders, there's a hinge there. And then you can turn the biceps. And for the wrist, uh, is it the wrist or the elbow? Can't tell. Oh, and then this one also turns. So kind of interesting articulation on the arms there. And Waist civil. Uh, there's a hinge here, it goes all the way to the side and to the front, to the back as well, except hindered slightly by the uh, beast mode part there in the back. The knees is uh, a little bit better than 90 degrees. The feet, uh, it swings on the ankle there and Oh yeah, it goes on the side as well. Shut up phone. And yeah, decent articulation. The arms are a little bit weird. And yeah, I guess that's just, you know, yeah, the way it is. Because it kind of has these claws as opposed to hands. Um, but yeah. And again, we're not going to transform them yet. Uh, we're going to look at the other ones for now. So here's Bacarachnia, and here's the uh, collector's card. I almost forgot about these things. And we have an arc. We'll see what we get next time. But there she is, and she looks really good. I mean, come on. You know, mostly black with some yellow here and there, and some gold or orange. Anyways, that face. I mean, it's, it looks like there's some overspray, but it's hard to notice. Um, yeah, and I like the <laughs> the spider eyes here on the pelvis. Um, yeah, cool. And like the red here on, on the spider abdomen. And yeah, that that you know her gun too. Like that's the 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 copper color. That's that's cool. I wish this thing fires, but you know, they they don't do that. They haven't done so in in years. But anyways, for quick size comparison, we have our standard here, Optimus Prime. So quite a bit smaller, but all good. And for our articulation, we have some decent head movement there. Obviously, you can go all the way around, uh, up and down as well. And for the arms, you can swing all the way to the side and to the front. Uh, this thing is in a peg that can swing all the way around. Uh, there's an elbow there that's better than 90 degrees, but then again, that's pretty much it for the arms and the well and the hands because yeah <laughs> that's all you get uh is there 
no 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 waist joint but for the legs it goes all the way to the side kind of to the front interesting it's kind of hindered uh, by the pelvis or hips or this but on the back it goes all the way to the you know to the back I guess <laughs> and for uh, the knees yeah almost 180 uh, the feet can go up and down and can swing side to side so legs are okay um, can't go to the front much but you know what are you gonna do uh, yeah but aside from that yeah you know, there's oh yeah the Decepticon symbol on on her chest there cool. it's tiny but you can you can see it quite clearly anyways all right let's look at the next one there it is we have Dinobot cool all right so here it is and it's quite short I mean it's, it's even shorter than black arachnia not only that if you look at his body you have like this big barrel of a chest and then crotch like what what happened to the waist you know <laughs> I don't know uh, anyways I just I'm being silly um, but aside from that man like the detail on this guy so if you look at his head I mean that looks like Scorpion you know the the scowl on this guy he doesn't look happy at all but yeah and the yellow on the chest it, it just pops and on the shins as well and on the arms but overall the purple just nice and bits of red here and there um man there's a lot of hollowness that's just nuts like the tail and the legs come on you been that as bro and obviously on the spider legs too it's very noticeable and yeah so in the bee you can put it inside the claw and then you got the other side too which are missiles that and yeah so quick size comparison with our standard here Optimus Prime oh, you can't even see his head and he's not a big figure and this guy is way shorter on you know just the top of the head there and yeah for articulation we have the shoulder it can go all the way around uh, arms can go out or oh, the head forgot about the head it's on uh, is it a ball joint but it can swing all the way around and it can move a little bit up I mean barely uh, anyways but back to the arm here you can swivel in a mushroom peg and then the elbow is you know just almost 90 degrees not quite and then the claws instead of hands uh, can, can rotate and then you obviously you can open the claws and put the weapon inside um, oh it actually has a waist swivel even though there isn't really much of a waist <laughs> anyways uh, for the legs you can not wait can he do the splits no not really it's being hindered uh can uh, kick all the way to the front and not much to the back the tails is is obviously blocking him uh the knee decent goes more than 90 degrees i mean because there's no 
there's nothing back here so yeah I, <laughs> oh man uh, the the feet uh, can go swing side to side like this and can go down but not much not at all up um, I guess that's for transformation I mean I don't know we'll see later on oh, but yeah so that's him that's copper lock Ooh, black rachnia. Cool. So here's Vespinator. I mean, it looks pretty good. That's from the fact that he's insect legs and antenna is just like sticking out of like all over the place. But yeah, it's just the way it's supposed to be, I suppose. But yeah, look at that head. That looks like Vespinator, all right. Yeah, the the purple eyes, both the robot eyes and the insect eyes. It just man, that's really nice. It just pops, and yeah, it's green with some yellow and a little bit of black. The wings, come on, look at this. Looks cool, and oh yeah, the weapon can go in the back there too, and. Oh man, hollowness again, come on. Anyways, but yeah, that's Waspinator and let's take a look. Compared to Optimus Prime, definitely much shorter. I can't even see Prime's head at this point, but what are you gonna do? Um, it's about the same size as bra Black Rachnia, I think, but yeah, we'll, we'll see later on uh, when we have the whole particle lineup. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the uh, articulation and the head swings, goes up a little bit. And I guess that's light piping, but... It's hard to tell. Um, well, my lighting too is not optimal, but yeah. As for the arms, the, sh the shoulder goes all the way to the side, just like all the other ones, and to the f you know it goes all the way around. Uh, for the arms, the elbow, I mean, 90 degrees. The bicep, there's a peg so you can turn it all the way around. And that's pretty much it. Oh, oh, the hands. Oh, yeah, he actually has ends, compared, un unlike the, the other three guys, Scorpionock, Tarantulas, and Black Rachnia. Anyways, he, go, he can go all the way around. He can hold his gun. I think that's a gun. But, or Stinger. Um, yeah, for the legs. Oh, wait, actually, does he? Oh, he does have a waist swivel. That's cool, but it's hitting something. And for the legs, it goes, can do the splits. Goes to the front pretty well. And, oh man, it's getting mistransformed here. Uh, to the back, not really because of the beast mode part on the back there the knee can go to the front it's kind of weird and go <laughs> to the back uh yeah and for the feet you can rock side to side and ooh, the toes can go down and the feet cannot really go up uh, so that's pretty much it. Oh man, this thing is getting mistransformed. But yeah, so that's Waspinator. All right, there he is, and he looks pretty good. I mean, look at that face for the queen. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's hilarious. But yeah, anyways, the oh man, the paint on the head. The sculpt, so good. 
And for the chest, you know, the translucent eyes there, that's awesome. The waist, it's like, is that, you'd say blue and then you have purple there. I'm not good with colors. Pretty sure I'm way off, but anyways, some black here. And on the back, oh man, that's, that's cool, right? Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. And his rear end here, you can um, do this and it spins like a propeller, you know, like in the show. So, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, and obviously he's pretty tall, but let's see how much taller it is compared to prime it's a head taller that's for sure um yeah so it's a decent sized ant and he has his gun too so translucent but also nicely painted crazy so let's take a look at the articulation here obviously he can open his mouth <laughs> Yeah, and you can turn around all the way, you can go up and down as well. And for the arms, uh, the elbows over there, you can does he spin around? Oh, yeah, he goes all the way around as well. His bicep uh, spins too, his elbows. Is double jointed that's pretty neat for 180 degrees there um, uh, the hands can be spun around as well so pretty neat uh, articulation so far uh, the waist can he no it, oh no it does it does turn around uh, at the waist and for the legs goes all the way to the front and to the back as well you just have to like move it around a little bit so it avoids this big booty um, the knee almost 90 degrees uh, for the feet do that and not much up but can go down so yeah i mean that's that's what's his name again oh my god oh inferno <laughs> another arc that's that's a shame so we have to yes here he is megatron and he looks badass man really love the color here different shades of purple some silver here and there and yeah you know what let's go up close that face and he looks so good looks really like him and the chest too. I mean, look at all the details in the chest there. Then you have the the legs. Love the silver or gunmetal gray. And then different shade of purple for the thighs here, and the shins, and the feet with white toes. I mean, claws. And the back, I mean, it's <laughs> a lot of kibble, <laughs> but that's necessary. And for the, I guess, right hand, I mean, look at that face. And for the other side, yeah, you can open this up. <laughs> oh, let's take a look at the articulation. So his head can go all the way around. You can kind of loop look up but I, I bet that's for transformation and for the uh, 
arms on the shoulder you can go almost horizontal but not quite this thing can spin around but you know the kibble is it's preventing it to go all the way around and the elbow 90 degrees and it can go backwards a little bit as well um, you can turn out the biceps uh, some hollowness on the forearm there which is not great but you can't really see it uh, the hands can do this for some reason and for the other side because <laughs> it's different it's, it's asymmetrical um, not quite 90 degrees but the head can open up wall and do that man I wish there's like some blast effects but nope and the waist can go all the way around um, for the legs and go forward and almost all the way to the back there goes not much to the side because of this guy um, the knees 90 degrees it can turn around though at the knees and then for the feet goes up goes back a little bit side to side so that's pretty decent and let's do some size comparison All right so here it is beside G1 Optimus Prime definitely much taller than him and you know what let's do it let's put all the preds all together so him on the back there we have Inferno on here we have Waspinator here and we have Black Arachnia on the side here and then this is Carbonog. let's go put him on the side here he's gonna have to zoom out and then Tarantulas with the other arachnid and then finally we have Therosaur oh yeah finally all the Predacons from the first season of Beast Lore and I have to say it again they look great oh, it's just the colors the texture it, 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 it's it's pretty unique organic it just looks good all together um, I mean there's a few issues uh, one is possibility of some figures like these two and and probably Scorponok as well because of the you know beast mode limbs claws tails and it, it just kind of um, make them in balance uh, the skinny legs the arms for some of them are not that well articulated and so you know limits posing abilities um, and although for the most part the sizing or scaling it looks okay but there are some standouts I mean literally like Inferno stands out <laughs> yeah he, he just I believe is way too big um, also at the same time I think Scarponok seems too short I mean he was always never tall it's kind of short stocky fellow but you know he looks way too short um, but aside from that you know uh, as an ensemble they, they look uh, say it again they look great <laughs> uh yeah i mean what is what else is there to say aside from yeah maybe we'll we'll transform them and 
and I don't know if it's gonna be fun or not, but we'll see. All right, let's do it. So here's Pterosaur in beast mode. And yeah, he looks okay. I mean, obviously there's a bot there, just crumpled up at the bottom, but yeah, so he has definitely a good side <laughs> to him. Um, anyway, so for uh, articulation, you can swing the head side to side, up and down, at the base as well. And you can open the mouth in the eyes look at that beady eyes pretty intense um the legs uh you, well the same thing you know you have access to the knees and the feet but you also get a new hinge right at the middle of the shins there and the gun can be stowed on the side of the leg on both sides that is and yeah and for the wings um you know pretty good wing size so it, and there's a lot of hinges so you can do a lot of different flying poses so or just like landed pose like this and for size comparison here's g1 optimus prime here's tarantulas in beast mode and he looks pretty creepy <laughs> i gotta admit but it looks awesome nonetheless uh way more purple than before you don't really see uh, the green anymore um, and just a splash of light yellow here and there and yeah for articulation there's not much it's just the eight ball joints and that's pretty much it and he can't really lift himself up although the nice thing is that you can stow the weapons both of them underneath here and there so yeah, I mean, what else is there to... Oh, size comparison. G1 Optus Prime in truck mode. So yeah, Black Arachnia. Really dangerous uh, Black Widow here. And as you can see, she's way off the ground. So that's pretty neat compared to Tarantulas. Uh, it, it was actually really tricky to get everything snapped together, like folding the legs and the claws at the back here. I do like how the tips of the claws become like the spinnerets of the spider. Um, uh, and yeah, look at that hourglass. Well, it's supposed to be hourglass, I guess. Uh, marking off the black uh, widow. And yeah, um, articulation eight ball joints plus you can swing all four legs on each side up and down oh and you can stow the weapon underneath here and yeah I mean for size comparison here it is with Optimus Prime here's Carpenter and not that great um, first of all he doesn't support his own weight with his legs is sitting on his body um, there's very limited articulation um, like the, the 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 two legs here are I share one ball joint and then yeah one ball joint here and then here and you, you can swing this up and down but again it, like you know to, to make it seem like the legs are on the ground you just you have to like spread it all the way apart and then basically push the legs all the way down so you're very limited in posing I suppose but the arms or claws are the same as before because you know they were the bot arms uh, for the tail uh, you can do this up and down and the tip is on a ball joint for some reason um, oh if you look underneath it, it has some interesting transformation like one of the legs goes into the tail and then the other leg goes on top of it but it doesn't really lock or anything and the chest here looks like it's kind of, it looks broken because it's just split in half and it doesn't really close uh, the gap there um, and yeah and obviously you can store the weapons in the claws just like before uh, and for size comparison here's Geo Optimus Prime so here's Waspinator and his beast mode is pretty decent I would say uh, first of all he can support his own weight with his legs um, and his body even though it's pretty chunky is pretty solid like 
everything just snaps together perfectly um, yeah and the blaster goes in here becomes the stinger and for um, articulation you can move the wings in all directions uh, the antenna can be swung around the mandibles can be open and close kind of close uh, the legs are where it's limited um, obviously here this is fixed uh, the two rear legs on each side share one hinge and the front is a hinge so there's no ball joint so yeah very restricted in terms of posability there but I don't know for some reason I still like it <laughs> for size here's G1 Optimus Prime all right so here's um inferno and for some reason i find him kind of cute with the big blue eyes um and uh roundish shape <laughs> anyways as you can see you can mount the weapon at the top there like some kind of cannon and for articulation the mandibles can be open or closed the antenna can swing up and down same for the head, uh, the legs, the front one can swing up and down, uh, the middle one can sw swing side to side. Uh, for the rear, it has two hinges, one at the base like this, and then in the middle. You can kind of move the rear part, but I think that's for transformation. And, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, Fairly simple transformation and pretty solid, but yeah, and he can basically uh, carry his own weight with his legs, so that's good. For size comparison, here's G1 Optimus Prime. So here's Megatron, very panelly. Um, he's actually made out of like soft, rubbery kind of plastic. And so there's, you know, some kind of misalignment here and there, some gaps uh, between the panel. Um, but aside from that, it looks awesome. I mean, giant purple dinosaur, <laughs> like Barney, but with green on the back, like moss. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. And at the bottom is the tan color, just like what you saw in... Uh, bot mode. Also, you don't really see a lot of the bot mode um, parts. Like, it's all hidden pretty well inside the body. Um, yeah, and for articulation, you can open and close the mouth. The head can move up and down. Uh, the neck can move as well, up and down, but it kind of breaks. <laughs> uh, the mold there um, you can sw swing side to side again kind of breaks it um, well, and the arms can you know swing all the way around a little bit outside uh, what else is there the tail can wiggle basically wag it like a happy little dinosaur um, in, in two sections uh, the legs obviously just like before can move pretty well and the knees is the same as before and then the feet um, yeah so pretty pretty good articulation and it's pretty well balanced uh, as you can see um, so for size definitely big much bigger than the other Predacons. Speaking of which, let's bring them all in. There they are. All the Predacons from the first season of Beast Wars in Beast Mode, and it is awesome. <sighs> I mean, it, they're not perfect. In fact, some of them are far from it, but all together, dude, it's hard to complain. Just love how they all look very unique. 
Um, even the two spiders are completely different. Uh, and, and, and the, the colors is so vibrant and they look so organic. I mean, it's just supposed to be beasts, right? So, yeah. <laughs> oh man anyways um, hopefully you enjoy this um, next one I'm gonna do is do the same thing but for the Maximals I have all of them still in boxes and can't wait to open them uh, and hopefully I would feel the same way as I feel about these guys so yeah come back with that thanks for watching bye